welcome dear students to this maths class today we are going to learn an interesting topic called perimeter and area in your class 6 you have already learned how to calculate the perimeter and area of a few figures so what is perimeter and area perimeter is the distance around the closed figure and area is the region occupied by the closed figure. So students, as we move on to calculate the perimeter and area, let us first understand what is a square. In a square, all sides are equal. Hence, the length of the square is equal to its breadth. Let L be the length of each side of a square. That is, L is equal to B, which is equal to the side of the square and hence we get the formula for area of a square and that is side multiplied by side side square therefore area of a square is side square perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side for a rectangle as you know it is a four-sided figure made up of two lengths and two breadths let L and B denote the length and breadth respectively of a rectangle. Therefore, area of a rectangle is length into breadth and the perimeter of the rectangle is L plus L plus B plus B. That gives us 2L plus 2B which is 2 into bracket length plus breadth. Now, let us take a problem to understand this concept of area and perimeter of a square and rectangle. Ravi made his picture on a rectangular sheet of length 40 cm and breadth 20 cm. Deepa made his picture on a rectangular sheet of length 25 cm and breadth 20 cm. Both these pictures have to be separately, separately framed and laminated. Who has to pay more for framing if the cost of framing is rupees 2 per centimeter? If the cost of lamination is rupees 3 per centimeter square, who has to pay more for lamination? As you see students in this problem, perimeter implies that to the frame of these pictures. And when we say lamination, it means area of these pictures. Perimeter of Ravi's rectangular sheet is equal to 2 into length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 into bracket 40 plus 20, which is equal to 2 into bracket 60, which gives us an answer 120 centimeters. If the cost of framing is rupees 2 per centimeter, then the amount that Ravi has to pay for framing is 120 into 2 which is equal to rupees 240. Area of Ravi's rectangular sheet is equal to length into breadth which is equal to 40 into 20 which is equal to 800 centimeter square. If the cost of lamination is rupees 3 per centimeter square then the amount that Ravi has to pay for lamination is 800 into 3 which is equal to rupees 2400. Now let us calculate the cost that Deepa has to incur for framing and lamination of his picture. Perimeter of Deepa's rectangular sheet is equal to 2 into length plus breadth which is equal to 2 into bracket 25 plus 20 which is equal to 2 into bracket 45 which gives us an answer 90 centimeters. If the cost of framing is rupees 2 per centimeter then amount that Deepa has to pay for lamination is 90 into 2 which is equal to rupees 180. Area of Deepa's rectangular sheet is equal to length into breadth which is equal to 25 into 20 which is equal to 500 centimeter square. 
If the cost of lamination is rupees 3 per centimeter square, then the amount that Deepa has to pay for lamination is 500 into 3, which is equal to rupees 1500. Now, students, let's take a few more problems to understand this concept of perimeter and area of squares and rectangles in detail. The first problem find the area and perimeter of a square park whose length is 12 meter. Given length of the side of a square park is 12 meter. Area of a square park is equal to side into side, which is equal to 12 into 12. And that gives us an answer 144 square meter. Perimeter of a square park is equal to 4 into side which is equal to 4 into 12 and that gives us an answer 48 meter. Now let's take another problem to understand this concept in more detail. Find the area and perimeter of a rectangular field whose length is 20 meter and breadth is 15 meter. We are given length is equal to 20 meter and breadth is equal to 15 meter. Area of the rectangular field is equal to length into breadth, which is equal to 20 into 15. That gives us the answer as 300 square meter. Perimeter of a rectangular field is equal to 2 into bracket length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 into bracket 20 plus 15. That is 2 into bracket 35, which is equal to 70 meter. The third problem. Find the area of a square park whose perimeter is 320 meter. Now here students, you are given the perimeter and you are asked to calculate the side. Perimeter of a square park is equal to 4 into side. That is 320 is equal to 4 into side. Therefore, the side is equal to 320 divided by 4. That is 80 meter. Area of a square park would be equal to side into side, which is equal to 80 into 80, that is 6400 square meter. So students, now we'll take the next problem. Find the breadth of a rectangular plot of land if its area is 440 square meter and its length is 22 meter. We are given the area which is equal to 440 square meter. The length is equal to 22 meter. Therefore, area of a rectangular field is equal to length into breadth, which is 440 equal to 22 into breadth. The breadth, therefore, would be equal to 440 divided by 22. Thus, the breadth is equal to 20 meter. Students, today's class has taught you how to calculate the area of a square and the area of a rectangle. You have also calculated the perimeter of a square and the perimeter of a rectangle. I hope you have enjoyed this class. Thank you.